right? So it seems like he was pretty, pretty busy. All you're doing is repeating everything that I've already told you about my friend and colleague. Obviously, Captain America was a virgin. Look out! First and foremost, I just want to thank you for uh, solving the mystery of Captain America's virginity. I know this is something <laughs> that people were dying to know. Tell me, tell me everything about making this decision. How early was it decided that you were going to start? Because it's in the first five minutes that this comes up. So tell me all about this. I mean, I feel like this is a question that has happened in like probably every friend group that watches Marvel movies together. Like I certainly asked that question. Most of the writers in our writer's room have thought about it. We all talked about it at length. There was a lot of spirited and passionate debate, a lot of play acting, (laughs) a lot of riffing um, and charades about it. Um, And it just seems like the kind of thing that, you know, if Captain America, Steve Rogers existed in our world, like that's what everybody would want to know. And it was actually, there actually was, there used to be a lot more of it in the show um, where it was this kind of running joke that, that Jen could not that was the anytime she had a spare second she was either googling it you know writing her (laughs) conspiracy theories and her manifesto about it like this was the thing that drove her that is incredible i how did this get to how did you get the okay to write like did you have a conversation with kevin feige about this like listen i want to solve this mystery for people please let me i just how did that conversation go Well, this is the wonderful thing about Kevin is that he always will push you to go further rather than rein you back and give you like, you know, boundaries. He always pushes you further to to a place where you you didn't even think to ask because you didn't think it was in the realm of possibility. So we we just put this as a running gag in the script in the scripts that like, you know, like in almost every script, this is before when we kind of cut a lot of it out, but uh, you know, in almost every script, there would be some little like, like gag or joke where she was still thinking about it. She was still talking about it. Everyone in her life was so th- sick of her. And it was just going to be this kind of runner. And Kevin was actually the one who was like, oh, we should answer that. And I will tell you the answer. And I said, there's an answer. And he goes, oh, there's an answer. And he told and he told me and this. So this is canon from Kevin Feige's golden tongue. This is canon bless this. This is, this is what I needed. She Hulk for, I love that he pushed you further. And I think that stinger on the end of the first episode, that captain America foot, like it is single-handedly <laughs> the best stinger in the MCU. In my opinion, that's just my humble opinion. <laughs> oh, I a hundred percent agree with you. I like, if that is my legacy, like I'm very happy. 